so apparently iV racing has a new season. What does that mean? I have no idea. So iV racing is broken up into four seasons per calendar year. Each season represents a new opportunity for you to hit the track in a new public series and race for the championship across your favorite racing disciplines and divisions. The only thing that I do know is that the GT4 series has come to a close, or at least it was no longer there when I was gonna go race yesterday. So I'm assuming it's no longer there. Now, of course, this can only mean one thing, and that is that we, of course, have to find a new series to race in. So I asked my Twitter, and this is what we got. After a staggering 63 total votes, GT3s and Formula cars were the overwhelming majority, but before settling on one over the other, I came up with the brilliant idea to try to buy everything in the game. But before that, a quick word from the video sponsor. Six Sigma Sim Racing is the number one Moza and Sim Magic dealer in North America and a great valued cockpit manufacturer, which I've personally been using for the last year. Learn more about them and enter this month's giveaway of a Thrustmaster TH8A H pattern shifter down in the video description. Every single car, every single track, every single thing, I want to buy it all at once. Now let me explain. So I've recently discovered that iRacing offers what they call a loyalty discount. Essentially, if you purchase all available fully priced content, meaning all cars and tracks, you receive 30% off the total price. It also happens that I've accumulated quite a bit of iRacing credits from some of you guys for some reason deciding to buy this game using my referral link. So the idea I had was to put everything in my shopping cart, get the 30% discount applied, and basically pay for everything else using my credits and get the entire game for free. It was going to be an absolute OC racing masterclass. So I'm gonna go ahead and manually click add to cart for every single car and every single track, and then we'll see how much the total is. So this is actually taking a really long time. I feel like there should be an option to add everything to cart. After several minutes of painstakingly adding absolutely everything available on this game to my cart, this is how much it costs. So even with my $830 of iRacing credits, the subtotal still comes out to $1,000. <laughs> A thousand thirty six dollars and seventy one cents. Oh, I really thought I was gonna be able to do it. Uh, I don't know. Imagine if I click this. Oh my, I don't even want to hover my cursor over that. Okay, so I really thought I was gonna be able to do it, but I'm not even close. If you for some reason want to play iRacing, I don't know why you feel free to use my referral link down below. They don't actually give me money. They just give me like credits that I can use to buy cars and tracks, which is, I mean, at least it's something, I guess. So yeah, we still have, we still have quite the bit to go. <laughs> Anyway, with that being a total failure, it was now time to find a new series to race in. So I've been staring at all of these options for several minutes now, and after weighing in both the car as well as the track for this week, I've officially made my selection. In this video, I'm going to be racing an F3 car. And now you might be wondering why? Well, because the track. I mean, look at the track. Interlagos is, without a doubt, out of all of the other options that I was weighing in, the best track of them all, and I'm actually kind of excited to try out an F3 car. Yes, it was now time to race the Lara F3 and take on this brand new challenge. And well, here's how it went. Uh oh. So you see, the race is starting in exactly 30 seconds, and my external hard drive isn't being recognized because I was getting an error message when trying to press record. At this point, I'm starting to panic. I begin pressing all the wrong buttons and freaking out as I know that if I don't get the screen recording to work, I'll be throwing the whole video away. It was a race against time. No. Okay, Oscar, be ready. I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Go. I'm not ready. No, 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 no. Why 
Why was there no formation lap or anything? What the hell? Why is everybody going so slow? The race, yeah, it was off to a fabulous start. And this is probably a good time to mention that I had done a grand total of two practice laps, which also happened to be the quality laps. Let's see if we can get those places back. All right, clear right. Though the start was anything but ideal, a long race was still ahead so I knew I had to leave that in the past and keep trying to make ground on those ahead. As the lap progressed however, I was starting to get pressured from behind and now the race was seriously on. Left side. Eventually, he pulled ahead and the following five or so laps were relatively calm. I'm not sure if I touched you. No! Shut, shut up, bro! I was starting to get frustrated. For starters, I had just lost three positions, and midway through this race, I found out that this was going to be a 30 minute session, which means that my suffering was far from over. Regardless, I had no choice but to keep on pushing and try to recover those positions back. Eventually, I caught up to the driver up in front, and once again, things were getting serious. Okay, Oscar, the next car is Elliot. Jesus, that was close. I'm so sorry. 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 I am so sorry. Where'd you go? Here, take that back. Take it 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 back. Okay, good. Clear right. 
That was definitely my fault, although I do think he had a tendency of breaking a little bit early, which is something that I would see again shortly into the lap. No, no, no! Jesus! Almost ran back into it. Oh my. A few laps later, some more cars would enter the battle, and once again, things were heating up. Come on, let's go. What was that? What was that? What was that? And how long is this race? How is that only half? I'm not sure what happened to the two drivers up ahead, but they crashed out, giving me another two positions. The last few laps consisted of the driver behind me chasing me down and eventually overtaking me as he had faster pace, and that essentially summed up the race. The 30 minute length certainly caught me by surprise, and the F3 cars were fun, yet challenging to drive. Overall, I had fun, but I was a little underwhelmed by the result. I think that next time, it's time to give the GT3s a go. As always, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and have a fantastic rest of your day.